Hey there! In this video we're going to talk about how do you check if a website has Google Analytics 4 installed. Now there are several ways to do this and in this video we're going to go through each one of them and you can see which one suits best, what's your preference. Let's start with uh, checking the source code of a website. So it's Control shift i on PC and Command-Shift-I on Mac and then Control f for the to search then you can type g tag now as you can see there are several results and each one of them actually represents a line of code with the uh, google analytics for installation or piece of the installation you can also try equal g minus if you want to find super quickly the exact measurement id for each one of these ga4 properties just have in mind that i had to type equal because the Chrome will not be very helpful if you have a two character search where you will see actually a lot of G minuses in the code. Another way to check for GA4 installation would be through plugins. Now there are two plugins that I use all the time for Google Analytics 4. One of them is GA Debug and it's called Google Analytics Debugger. I actually use it to quickly debug a website for a Google Analytics property that I have access to. So if I want to see if a debugger logs events that happen within my browser and my session. The other plugin that I use very often is this little ducky here. It's called Only Analytics Debugger and it's created by Thinkster. And it's very graphical, I would say more than this one because this one actually now why don't I show you versus talk this much. So if I turn this on and go to the console, which is control shift C, as you can see, this plugin here prints all this data about Google Analytics into the console. The other plugin that I talked about is this ducky here and the data it provides are also accessed via developer tools only the last tab called Analytics Debugger is here. So if I click Start Debugging, it will reload this page and it will show you which data has been sent through. If we are talking about GA4 right now, we'll see all the events that are going through and the property they are going into. And also you can see some details about each event once you click on it and then scroll down a little bit here. The third way and the one that I would say provides a lot of uh, interesting insights is Tag Assistant. Now, even though there is a Tag Assistant Legacy Chrome plugin as well, and by enabling it, you will see if a page has any of Google tools installed, including AdWords or Google Analytics or other marketing suite tools, it's legacy, so it's not supported anymore. And Google wants you to actually access the data about their tools through Tag Assistant. Now, it's cool that we can actually debug any website out there. So let's start with debugging the Google support website. Make sure to include HTTPS in the domain when you type uh, in the debugger. And now we see that there was a page view logged. If we go here, maybe go onto another page it logs a user engagement and another page view. So let's go back, for example, choose Google Fi Wireless. It's still on the same website. Here are the events that have been pushed into the data layer. And also if we click an external link, then it will stop this session. But if you change the Google Analytics measurement ID, you will see other events being pushed via GTAG or into the data layer, depending on the event itself. And then you can see the details for each event and then try to figure out what these people are up to with uh, tracking all these custom parameters. Beware of turning on and off the Tag Assistant legacy because I experienced some difficulties when I turn it on and then reload the page. The debug session was interrupted. Even though you see how many Google tags are on here, 
no matter if they are legacy ones like Universal, but it will interfere with how your tag assistant is working in a separate window. It may stop the session or even put this tool to a grinding halt, meaning that it will not track any of the subsequent events in GA4. I hope that you find this video useful and right now you can choose between all these methods that allow you to see whether a website has GA4 installed, whether it's a plugin or going through a source code or even checking with Tag Assistant, but it gives you a pretty clear perspective on how each one of these tools, uh, the depth that it uh, provides for the GA4 implementation. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel so we can make more of these videos about the G4.